In this video I'm gonna show you how to add the shipping timer like this one here. Order by 4 p.m. Monday for delivery on Tuesday. It's automatic and it's easy to set up. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm gonna show you today, take a look at the description of this video. There is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child teams functions PHP file. Or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a thorough review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use Code Snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Give it the title, for example, Woo Custom Product Text Field. And paste this snippet here. Links to the snippets are in the description of this video. I made a post about it, so take a look at the description. Now some explanations. First, we're going to add the text field. Then we're going to save it in the database. And then we're going to output it on the front end. I know it's confusing a bit. Therefore, I'm going to save changes and activate it. Then I'm going to open up this product here. And as you see, there is a new custom field sh shipping info here and enter your predicted shipping time here. So this is a label. This is a placeholder text and this is a description. Now, if I enter here, estimated shipping time two to three weeks and I'm going to update it, view the product, then there you go. There is a information I just added. Couple of things for you to point out. This one here, class WooCommerce message, gives us a nice WooCommerce based style here. But you can style it by yourself, just change the class here and add the additional CSS to customize it as you like. Next one, we're gonna output it to the WooCommerce single product summary with a priority 22. If I take a look at the WooCommerce single product page visual hooks, then there is a hook I'm using with a priority 22. That means it's before the add the cart, cart form. If I want to add it somewhere else, I'm going to just grab this hook here, replace it, save changes, refresh, and I moved it here. But since I like the other location more, I'm going to change it back. And there it is. Now, before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.